it's a life thing. What does that mean? It means it's your life. It means you get to live it. And I'm so honored to have Leah Valencia Key with me, Rebecca Silence, talking today about self-expression in this time of holiday season turmoil because so many people are messaging me, Rebecca, I'm struggling in my relationship. Rebecca, I'm struggling with inspiration. Rebecca, I'm struggling with finding hope. And Leah and I are here today to talk to you about how you have control over your self-expression, no matter what you're facing. Hey, Leah. Hi. Oh, I'm so excited to join you and be here and, and prayerfully shed some joyful, positive light on any heart that listens. Yeah, and I love what you said right before we began recording. To me, I asked Leah, I said, how are you? And she said, just radiating all the love in the world from where she is in Pennsylvania to where I am in Colorado. She said, Rebecca, I am blessed and highly favored. And yes. you know, that just has me feeling even more alive and vibrant, hearing those words, feeling your energy. Would you share with us what you mean by that? Like, what does it mean to be blessed and highly favored? I love, uh, first of all, I love different songs. And if you, when you get to know me more, I will quote a song in a conversation as if it's like regular dialogue. <laughs> but it's this one awesome um, gospel song that talks about being blessed and highly favored, meaning no matter what's going on in my life, I, if, you, if you'd like me to pull out some challenges, I can go in my little yellow pocketbook and find many of them to pull out. However, when I look over my over evolving life, I, I see how awesome the favor of God, but whoever you believe in, the favor and the greatness that is showered down on me. And so I choose to focus on those things and I choose to really give energy and love and exonerating those great things, even if they're small, because that's how I'm able to radiate life. And I'm able to infect other people to be also blessed and highly favored. Everyone, no matter where you are right now, no matter how challenging the situation is, there is something in your life that could have been worse. So in that you are blessed and there is something in your life that could have happened that didn't happen. So you are highly favored. And so I pray that we receive a mindset. It's all, it's a mindset thing. It's a life thing, but it's also a mindset thing. And so I'm encouraging all people, let's try to shift our mindset to the glory and not to the gloom. And our focus. I think it's also, it's a mindset thing for sure first, but then it becomes about a soul connection thing, yeah. right? And, and it, I think is about your soul connecting to the courage and the power in you to navigate the challenges that takes you beyond just the thinking, right? It definitely yeah. starts there. Like you've got to be able to access the part of your mind that goes, all right, here's a challenge. If I'm still here, I must be equipped to lead it. Absolutely. If you let your challenges lead you, you're really going to feel powerless and hopeless fast. But if you Absolutely. see those challenges as more access to your soul, more access to your life force and more access for your ability to take in the blessings of your life, now there's something to look forward to. What are your thoughts about that, Leah? Love it. I love where focus goes, energy flows. Someone said that. Is that Tony Robbins? That's someone, uh, I think that's Tony Robbins, where focus goes, energy flows. And that's really powerful. That's exactly what you're saying. So well, mindset is this overall concept, but what you're focusing on is where all of that power is going to go to. So if, if we're focusing on the challenge, which is so real, I never, I never want to live in a fake world where I'm not acknowledging the sorrow and the challenges and all of the hard things that are happening now. But where, what do we, like you said, in that, what do we fo what part of that do we focus on? And you're and like you're saying, focus on the part that you can control. So when you do focus on that part, then you gain power, 
you gain favor, you gain blessings, you get you gain another moment to move on. And another beautiful thing is watching beautiful, inspiring things like this, Rebecca, or being around energetic, positive, inspiring people also helps you uplift yourself out of wherever you are. I, I make a point to have my connection and my circle full of people um, that see the blessings. And, and so when I can't see the yeah. blessings, they see them for me, <laughs> you know? I think that's so important in your part of that for me. I'm so glad you're bringing this up. And I love what you said about never wanting to live in a fake world where you're not acknowledging the sorrow. Mm -hmm. You can't have the highest joys and highest vibrations without allowing ourselves to be real when yep. we are experiencing the lowest challenges and the lowest vibrations. And then the support that you create is the key to keeping your ability to focus, to keeping your ability to lead inspired into the next moment, the next season, the next chapter of your life. So who is your circle? Everybody should be thinking about that. Yes. Oh, number you know? one, who is your circle? And, and if you have a bad circle, it's better to be alone. I'm <laughs> If you look around, take an inventory, take a circle inventory. When we say circle, like who, who do you call? Who do you talk to? Who do you let pour into your ears and your heart and your spirit? And, and then take inventory of their conversations. Take inventory what they say to you. Take inventory of how they act and behave. And then when you say, ooh, that's a little gloomy, every other word, or ooh, that's not kind of, that's helping me be a better, bright, brighter person, then if you cannot find anyone, you're better off being alone. I love being alone. She's a loner. Everyone thinks I'm an uh, extrovert. I'm truly an extrovert, introvert. I love being by myself because I can get to myself. And when I'm with myself, I can talk myself into joy. I can talk myself into greatness. I can empower myself to get out of um, the struggles and mental struggles that I'm in. And other beautiful things when you don't have someone physically there that you can call, beautiful videos and shows like this can be yeah. your circle. I know I, that's what I love about the digital world. Like you don't have to be stuck with the people that you were raised around or that yeah. are in your life now. You can now literally choose to be connected to whatever energy you wanna be because you can tap into these positive, conversations like ours and I and I'd be grateful to be in your circle whoever you are <laughs> Leah I love what you're saying and I think knowing that we do have access even if it's just a digital connection is a way to make it safer when you are alone mm -hmm. to not fall into the depths of despair which is easy to do, especially when there's fear. And yeah. I do agree. You don't have to blow out the circle you have, but mm -hmm. be really conscious of who you have closest to you. Because a lot of people will basically do what I say, stroke your victim. A lot of people will support you in your hopelessness or in your upset and will help you defend them. And that's awesome. For five seconds, you are worthy of a circle that goes, hold on, what about your greatness? Yeah. Hold on, what about your future? Hold on, what about your ability to heal this and lead this, right? And those are the people that I choose. Leah is one of them for me. And I, along with Leah, I'm honored to be a part of your life if you're here watching, encouraging you to express your greatness in the most difficult times and You've got that ability. You do. And it's so good. It's like, it shows you that it's possible. It's like when you decide to be blessed and highly favored, that's, to me, that's a choice, right? Because we can all not see all your blessings that you have. But when you decide to, it becomes, um, it becomes a, a snowball effect. Like you just get to keep going with it. And then yeah. when life hits you and smacks you down, you take your moment to cry, give, give yourself your 
Oh, what sometimes I say, all right, Leah, you got um, this really is bad, and I'm, I'm really feeling the pain here, my humanness. But you have 72 hours <laughs> to break, <Right. be. laughs> and giving myself a time limit on it because I want to, I want to be there because that's real. And then I, I time limit it out. Okay, 72 hours up. What are we going to do, Leah? Turn right. on the video, watch something good, call someone that you know is going to pour into your spirit. When um, friends call me and if they call and they give me something challenging, I, I want to be that ear. I want to hear the challenges because that's healthy. We need a sounding board to pour these things out, right? Because once it, when it stays in, it's dangerous. So we do need the sounding board, but I'm going to be the friend that hears the challenge and I'll hear it all the way through. And then I'm going to find the blessings in it for you. I'm going to, I'm going to find the favor in it for you. I'm going to find, because you can't see it and you shouldn't see it because you're in the trenches and that's not your job to see it. It's, it's these beautiful hearts that you connect to that are supposed to see when you can't see, guide you in the dark and be the light for you. And so um, I pray that everyone finds someone in their life that can yeah. be the light when you are in the dark because we, we all need it. And if you don't yeah. have one, we're here for you. Absolutely. And it's, I believe, in the face of the challenges that feel the darkest or the most impossible that your highest growth is occurring yeah. and the highest opportunity for more of your soul's self-expression is available to you in those challenging times. And I really believe that there is never a challenge that's stronger than you. And there's never a challenge that doesn't have a beautiful growth opportunity on the other side of it. And that doesn't mean it's easy, but I do believe it's worth it. That's so true. Oh, I like that. Like in the challenge, that's where you get to find. That's, that's where you get your answers, right? That's where you get your yeah. growth. And that's, that's where, where the reinvention. That's where you get to reinvent. Oh, it is, it's beautiful. So we celebrate the challenges. So now let's yeah. start to reinvent. Let's start. Yeah. We get to choose 2021's coming up. Ooh, ooh. And um, <laughs> when people ask me about 2020, I'm like, great. I mean, I know that there have been so many challenging things in 2020 um, that I pray over every day, but I choose to not count it all negative. I choose to find where can we learn, like what what can we do different in 2021? And now we, we get to choose it. So let's do it. Yeah, we do. And, and both Leah and I have different opportunities to support you in your self-expression, in your ability to connect to inspiration and your next season that we want to talk to you about. But really quick before we do that, I just want everyone to consider that 2020 has been at least for me, the ultimate reality check. And mm -hmm. none of us at this point need to be doing anything we don't want to do. None of us at this point need to be caving on our souls or our greatness or our possibility. And we all got to see this year, what about the way we had been living has been working and what about the way we have been living is no longer serving our greatness and our highest growth. So we all get to take inventory and we are all powerful enough to reinvent as we head into a new season and into a new year. And Leah has a way that she does that, that she wants to share with you. And then I've got some opportunities for you as well. So let's take this conversation to the next level beyond just inspiration. What can we do? So Leah, what do you have to share sure. around how you self-express and, and what you want for our viewers and listeners? And so that's beautiful because self-expression is external. And when I think, when we think about who you connect with, that's why I created my jewelry line, Valencia Key, is to be that connection, be that wearable, visible, reminding symbols that when you don't have anyone around you, when you can't call a friend, when the video... <laughs> is not in the area for you, you can wear your Valencia key necklace, seeing those three connected circles, reminding you that life is continuous. There's ups, 
there's downs, there's peaks, there's valleys. But if you keep shining and keep persevering, that you will get through. And so they're visible, wearable symbols that tell you that it's possible. If you're able to wear these, I've come from the most humblest beginnings. If, if you haven't heard my story, I grew up in the most impoverished area and in the most roughest environments, homeless for several years as of when I was young. And so for me to be able to sit here today and radiate light and say I'm blessed and highly favored and, and see that all things are possible, that's what you wear in this symbol is a testimony because it's not just about my life, it's about your life, that if I can do it, you can do it too. And I pray that you wear my jewelry as a click on, a click on that, let's do it, a click on that I choose joy, a put your bracelet on and say, I'm going to find peace. I put on my bracelet and say, there is joy in the midst of this sorrow. And if I can't see it now, my pieces can remind me to find it. Leah, would you share a little bit about your grandmother's story? I've been blessed to hear this. And I think it's really beautiful and important, you know, and, and sometimes when we can't create an inspired vision for our lives, for ourselves, we look for a modeling of possibility, someone yeah. else showing the way. And your grandmother's story, I just, I wish you would share a little bit of it because yeah. I think it's super important and drives what you're saying about access to jewelry as a click on to your power. Yes, I love, oh, I love my grandma's story because I, so my grandmother, as I said, we were raised with nothing. So my grandmother's living in, a house where the ceiling is falling in and just things falling around her um, not the brightest environment but every time I would come over and see her my grandmother would have her little pearl earrings on her little necklace on a ring and a bracelet like ready like and I would I asked one day because I was just like wow like in all of this because I saw it as challenge and she saw it as seeing outside of her predicament and not choosing to respond to her environment and choosing to be where she was going to be mentally and physically. And so I asked her, like, Grandma, like, you wearing earrings, ring, you're always dressed in jewels all the time. And, and she would say, because I'm dressing beyond my current circumstance. I'm, I'm putting on my light. I'm putting on my joy. And so I am standing in these visual moments of where I choose to be, not where I'm at. And my mother even gave me, when I was really little, these little cheap little earrings, and she told me to wear them and wear them as a symbol of the sparkle and the light inside of me and that they will be my visual symbolicness of all the light that I have to shine to the world. And so that's why I create this jewelry because I know it's a, it's a visual portal. It's a physical portal to where you can be. And it's a physical connection to people that are choosing that. My, my dream is that when you wear it, you have it on Rebecca, right? Yeah, roots and wings saying yeah. that when I have wings to fly and I have roots to ground me, that all things are possible. When I'm wearing it, and I'm symbolizing that life is limitless, then when someone else who's watching wears it, when we're in our lowest moments and you turn on a video like this and you see one of us wearing it, we don't even have to tell you that it's possible. You see it and we're shining our lights and you saying, let's do this together because it's a community. When I talked about that circle, I feel like we're creating this circle of greatness and joy. And so it's a beautiful thing. And Rebecca, you also encourage our spirits in another level, which is beautiful. Thank you, Leah. Yeah. I mean, the jewelry for me is a way to connect to the power in me and to remember that I've always got the ability to put on a great pair of earrings. Earrings are always my favorite. And 
again, to remember who I actually am on a soul level that I choose to be. And, and what I do to help people reconnect to their spirits is I encourage you to choose who you want to be now. I see it all the time and I hear it all the time. Rebecca, I don't know who I am. In mm -hmm. the hundreds and hundreds of clients I've worked with one-on-one, -on -one, the hundreds of thousands that I have worked with over the years, in my audiences, the one thing I hear over and over again, when I ask the question, what do you want, is I don't know. Wow. And I think that there's this myth that you're supposed to find yourself. And I don't know how you're going to do that. I know that who you've been is the best you had. And that right here, right now, you can begin to choose who you're going to be next. Leah's jewelry is the catalyst for that. And then what I offer, and I'm so proud of this, now are a couple of different ways that you can just take a deep dive into your own self-exploration around who you want to be now with my online courses. I have a five-day $27 challenge that will absolutely change your life. Mm -hmm. And I have a five-week course that is deeper and will absolutely have you shedding layers that maybe you never believed you could shed or addressing layers that you've been too afraid to face. And with the support of these courses at your pace in your own home, you can begin to discover and choose the life you want now and who you're gonna need to be to create it. You won't just find yourself, choose, mm -hmm. choose this holiday season. What I love about your courses and what you do and how you help me is it's it's that connection, that guidance to like you said. So when I do decide to choose, then how do I shed these layers, these yeah. life layers that have been covering me and holding me down or holding yeah. me back, if you will. And you gotta shed some layers. And so your courses are beautiful to help shed those layers so that you can rebirth into who yeah. you know you are meant to be. And then that next person will change too. I think life is ever changing. And so when you have these skills and tools, you're, you learn how to shed these layers as you become the new you that you are destined to be. It's beautiful. I love what you're saying. And I do agree. We are ever evolving. It's not permanent. This mm -hmm. next version of you, but it is your right to experience this next version of you yes. as you keep growing. And my courses came out of my experience being pregnant, getting diagnosed with cancer and not just surviving, but mm -hmm. really choosing to live. I have created a five-step healing roadmap that works every single time I use it, that when you access it, you can create your own healing roadmap. And uh -huh. we need a healing roadmap to get us beyond just the conceptual understanding of what's possible, living yeah. into what we've dreamed is possible. So I hope for you that today's video and in our conversation gives you more access to possibility about self-expression and then you've got access to leah and her jewelry we'll put her links in our description you've got access to me one-on-one -on -one or okay. through my courses or through my radio shows to keep listening and and connecting to you and the yeah. you that you want to be and i really believe that when we are being who we want to be we don't suffer no, and you're not alone. The, the whole goal of this is that you're not alone. You know, you do have people like you and I, Rebecca, in your corner and being there for you because life is challenging. And sometimes we don't know the way or the how. And so it's beautiful to be connected to like-minded individuals. I think that's the purest form of it. And so we are honored to be connected to you, to get you to your joy, get you to your greatness uh, and move you into all the love that is meant for you. That's my dream for everyone. And I hope everyone watching looks in the mirror at some point today and says out loud, I am blessed and highly favored. Yes. Because what if you are? Yes. You are, you are. And so let's just say it because when we say it, then it happens.
and you start to walk in it, you start to experience it and actually get to see it. Once you say it out your mouth, you get to visualize where it is. And then you can connect with these other beautiful hearts that are also blessed and highly favored. And it's just this ripple effect of greatness. I love it. Your life is amazing. Thank you so much for watching. And it's a life thing. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. I love it.